Well, good morning, and thank you for that introduction, John. It is always a pleasure to stand before ASAE membership and introduce a new class of DELP scholars. It's been 17 years since I stood here and introduced DELP's first class. A lot has changed in those 17 years. And for one, I've acquired a few more gray hairs. <laughs> Just a few. But thankfully, one thing that has not changed is ASAE's commitment to promoting greater diversity at the highest levels of association leadership. This is a mission that couldn't be more timely. 21st century America is becoming more diverse at a rapid pace. And each day, our nation's markets are becoming more and more open to competition from around the globe. In order to thrive in this new world, more and more businesses are realizing they must embrace and tap into the benefits of diversity. In the movie industry, major studios are finally figuring out that making films with more diverse casts translates into more money at the box office. Last year, 20th Century Fox turned a story about three female African-American mathematicians into one of the biggest box office hits of 2016. Thank you, yes. <laughs> These women played a key role in NASA's mission to put the first Americans in space and their true stories sold movie tickets around the world. This year, Wonder Woman, a film with a female lead and a female director, shattered box office records in the typically male-dominated action movie genre. The performance of those films weren't just exceptions to the rule. A recent study by one of Hollywood's biggest talent agencies found that movies with more diverse casts financially outperformed movies that didn't feature significant diversity. And these types of results weren't just confined to the motion picture industry. Across all industries, more and more businesses are finding that promoting diversity can lead to greater profits and success. A recent study by McKinsey and Company, a global management consulting firm, found that businesses with diverse executive boards enjoyed significant higher profits and returns on equity. Another McKinsey study found that businesses with significantly diverse workforces were more likely to have financial returns above national industry mediums. Across the board, companies and organizations with effective diversity strategies are proving to have an edge in employee productivity, recruitment, and retention. Diversity is simply good business. But while many businesses are finally recognizing the importance of diversity on a broader scale, we still have a long way to go. Just look at the boards for the Fortune 500 companies and you will find that they are still overwhelmingly male and feature very little diversity. And that's why DELP is such a vital program for the association industry. Every two years, DELP recruits talented and hardworking association executives from backgrounds that have been traditionally underrepresented in association leadership. From there, DELP's networking, mentoring, and volunteer opportunities help those professionals acquire the skills and make the connections necessary to move up the ranks of association leadership. Including this year's class, DELP has impacted the lives and careers of 183 talented association executives since 2001. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Several of our alumni have become CAEs, CEOs, executive directors, or presidents of their associations. Others serve as chair of their ASAE section councils and committees, and yet have achieved internal promotions within their associations. So DELP is bringing real change to association leadership. The Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau has been a DELP sponsor since the program started in 2001 and there is not a program that I'm more honored to be a part of than this one. And on a personal note, it makes me proud to see so many DELP graduates go on to significant leadership positions within their associations. DELP is opening the doors of association leadership to professionals from all backgrounds as never before. The challenges of the 21st century demand that no association can stand to let any division stand between them and recruiting talented leaders. So I want to applaud ASAE for your commitment to meeting the challenge of promoting greater diversity in leadership head on. 
and I sincerely thank John and ASAE for the opportunity to watch this group of dynamic professionals emerge as managers, directors, CEOs, and CAEs. The Detroit Metro looks forward to look many more years of sponsoring this wonderful program. It is now my pleasure to introduce the 2017-2019 class of Delp Scholars. Thank you. Hi, I'm Joy Alapia. I'm the President and CEO of the Western Propane Gas Association in Sacramento, California. For me, being better means being the best that I can be in my job and my profession, being as efficient and effective as possible as a result of the skills that I learned through Dell. Hi, my name is Ray Arambula. I'm the IT Operations Manager at American Society of Radiologic Technologists in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I hope uh, with coaching and mentoring, I'll be able to learn the the skills and knowledge to get to that next level, possibly get my CAE certification, and uh, really aim high. Hi, I'm Dee Clemens, the Vice President of Meetings, Education, and Partnerships with the Airports Council International of North America in Washington, D.C. I think I'm looking forward to learning from uh, other leaders uh, in this industry. I'm looking forward to perhaps having a mentor from another trade association, always looking to learn something from someone else. Hi, I'm Adania Calhoun Coates, CMP, Director of Meetings and Program Services for the American Thyroid Association in Falls Church, Virginia. I'm really looking for education to further develop my career, still trying to find my way and navigate through the association world, so I'm excited to get involved and see what DELP has to offer for me. Hi, I'm Saima Hedrick, Associate Director of Outreach from the Society of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging from Reston, Virginia. I wanted to be able to find someone who had gone through sort of the same um, challenges in the association community, being from a diverse background, and uh, so I'm hoping to find someone that I can model myself after and who can serve as my mentor and kind of guide me through the process. Hello, I'm Jenneth Johnson, Associate Director of Healthcare Services in Speech Language Pathology at the American Speech Language Hearing Association in Rockville, Maryland. I'm hoping to gain exposure to the association community, to have the opportunity to network, and to learn best practice management and association management. Hi, I'm Emily Mendia. I'm the Community and Volunteer Manager at the American Counseling Association in Alexandria, Virginia. I'm really looking forward to the networking and just learning how I can be a better leader in this industry as well as kind of learning from my peers and trying to move forward the association as a whole in diversity and inclusion. Hi, I'm Cecilia Plaza. I'm Senior Director of Academic Affairs for the American Association of Colleges of Pharmacy in Alexandria, Virginia. I'm really hoping to gain what my next career step is and just building relationships with all these amazing Delp alum I've already gotten to meet and just building relationships with my cohort. Hi, I'm Chad Rummel, the Executive Director of the Society for Personality and Social Psychology in Washington, D.C. I'm really looking forward to building a cohort of peers and colleagues who have spent a long time in associations who we can share stories with and swap experiences and help each other through the hard times because no matter where you are in what position, you're going to face that ceiling where you're bumping against your head and you need a support team there to get you through it. Hello, my name is Felicia Taylor, Director of Member Services and Engagement for the National Association of Pediatric Nurse Practitioners in New York City. Well, my hope is to make some connections and further my education and become an even better association executive. Hi, I'm Jamal Turner, Manager Education and Diversity Initiatives with the American Academy of Hospice and Palliative Medicine located in Chicago, Illinois. What I'm hoping to gain from the experience is a mutual relationship with association executives in the field that I can learn from and that hopefully they can learn from me as well. And I also want to be able to uh, give back to future individuals that are coming into the association executive uh, field. Hello, I'm Gabriella Welch, Director of Certification at APEX in Chicago, Illinois. I think this is just a great opportunity to network 
to really establish wonderful relationships across the nation and also to gain insight from different perspectives of leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the 2017 Delp Scholars. <laughs>